Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and we will be continuing on our constructions set of IXLs today. We are continuing with the construction of an angle bisector. So in class we've gone over a few different constructions. There are really six main ones that we focused on and the angle bisector is going to be our second one. The first one being the perpendicular bisector from IXL B10. Okay, so we have uh, our angle bisector right here, and it's exactly as it sounds. We have an angle uh, BAC, right? And what we want to do is we want to cut it in half with another line, cut it perfectly in half, uh, meaning to bisect, right? Bi means to, uh, sect means cut, so we want to cut into two equal pieces, okay? And how we want to do that is we're going to start with our two lines right there. We're going to take the compass and draw a, an arc. Uh, in the case of the IXL, you draw a circle, okay? Again, don't be fooled. Uh, in the diagram, we have an arc, just an arc right there. For IXL, it's an entire circle. And then from there, we take our compass and draw two other arcs from our intersection points. Again, we do two circles here. And then where those two arcs intersect, that is where the line or the ray is going to go through. So it starts here at point A, goes through our intersection point, and then goes on forever. So that's what we see here. This first problem is just giving us the angle A right here, and it asks us to complete the bisection. So it's done pretty much everything for us. We just need to draw our ray, which again is a line with one point on one side, and then an arrow on the other. So we'll start here, starts at A, goes through E, and we just cut angle A in half with that ray. We'll submit already up to 56, okay? And just like with B10, um, these problems are just going to ask you the same thing except erase one of the last steps. So the last problem was, okay, we've done everything for you, do the last step. This one is, okay, we've done some of it for you, do the last couple steps, and then we're gonna work our way backwards from here. So here, it looks like we were missing one of our arcs or circles, right? So we'll grab our circle, we want it the same radius. We're going to put it right here. Okay, we're going to intersect up here. I'll put a point and an array. Cut it in half just like the last problem. Click submit. Good work. Already up to 84. Okay, so now they just give us our beginning arc or circle with our angle A, and we have to add both of the other arcs or circles and then uh, draw the ray. So we'll do our first circle, same radius. Okay, we'll place it at B, and then again, same radius, and we'll place this one at D. All right, they're going to intersect up here, so we'll click points, we'll do intersect, we'll do ray from A through our intersection points, and submit. Already up to 96. Perfect, perfect. Okay. And then uh, it, it gives us nothing except for the angle, so uh, we're going to draw our first angle here, right, our first circle. We'll come back, we're going to do circle. Circle has to be the same radius here. And we're going to place that just like this. Okay. And that way we know there's an intersection point right here as well. Wonderful. And then we're going to continue with our other two circles, our arcs. We'll put one there, put one here. Intersection point, of course, is going to be up here. And then our ray is going to go from A to the intersection point. And that would be it. All right. Went to 100, in fact. So study hard. Uh, follow me next time for the next Constructions IXL tutorial video. Take care. Stay safe. And see you later. Goodbye.